this is Mr. Huff, and we're going to talk about West Point Bridge Design. If you're having trouble seeing the pop-up windows and text, you'll need to go to the Cortana box and type in Display. And you're looking for Change Display Settings, and where it has Scale and Layout, you want to change the size of the text, and you want to be sure you're on 100. And if you have to change that, let's say it's 125 or 150, if you have to change this to 100, you'll need to start, uh, shut down your machine and restart so all the text is appearing properly. That seems to fix it when I've seen trouble with this in the past, so be sure you're at 100%. If you go to Cortana, you should be able to type the word bridge, and you should see uh, Bridge Designer 2016 Second Edition. So we're going to open that. <clears throat> and it pops up with a few tips. Feel free to flip through these if you want, but really I'm going to show you the basics of what you need. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to start from create by creating a new bridge design. And uh, the other choice you would use is load an existing bridge design file. So once you see this, click. Uh, so we're going to use create a new bridge. Click OK. And these first few, let's see, it's giving you the design requirements. Uh, we're just going to use the default on this first screen. For option two, uh, we are not participating in a contest. So we'll click next. And for deck elevation, we're going to use the standard 24 meters. Standard abutments, no pier no cable anchorages so we're doing keeping this pretty simple uh, for the so so far we've only selected defaults medium strength concrete and the standard truck so we're going to use those as well for the bridge design this is the first selection you will have made is we want to use the deck truss and let's use the how bridge so deck truss dash how so choose this selection here choose next and where it says bridge designed by you need to put your name and right here give it a project code like 02 or just make up a number and then choose next and it gives you some things about uh, how to use this, so uh, finish. All right. It should pop up with this screen. And so it gives you the basic how deck layout. And it shows that you're the designer down here. And what we're going to do is the we need to add the joints first. And the ones along the bottom of the bridge are there. Just follow the template. Then we're going to switch to the member tool. Notice you can use different kinds of metals here. And you can make it solid bar or hollow tubes. And you can choose different diameters. I'm going to go heavy so I know that this works the first time. So I'm going to use high strength steel. Then you just go in and add the members. Once you finish your bridge, be sure and save it. And I'm going to call this one example 2 so I can load it in again. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can use the erase button. If you need to select things, like you can, if you wanted to change multiple members at once, you can use the selection tool. And you can see over here it's giving you the, the details about what you are uh, building. So let's go through and do a test. So the next thing we want to do, there's some tests you can do. You can choose a uh, drawing board, which is what we start with. You could do a load test on it to see how it's going to behave. So you can see that that is 
and this is what you're going to do mostly. So what it does is it lets the brake bridge hang by itself and then it drives the truck across. And if you don't have any trouble here, uh, you will see that it gives you a status. Notice my cost right now is $742,000. It's not very good. So uh, I want to make that cheaper. So I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm going to change everything to this. We'll make it cheaper. Uh, let's go with the lightest one possible just so you can see the behavior. Okay. Uh, and also I want to make the bottom half of this hollow tubes. All right. So that should be... All right. So now we have hollow tubes and solid bars. And now we're going to do the test again. This little button here will also do the load test. So it shows that that really didn't work out so well. So we would need to go back to the drawing board. So your job is to go through and look at the uh, the performance of your bridge. You can also mess with this. Uh, I think show animation is where it shows you the truck driving across. So you can test it. And actually you have to select show animation and then choose this. And that way you get to see the little truck go across. So we're going to put some of this back. We'll make all of this big again. All solid bar. Much heavier. And then we'll run the test again. So it shows that it's holding. Notice how the ones that are in red are under compression and the ones that are blue are under tension. And you can see right here the middle has the most compression and the most tension. If it's white, it shows that it's neutral. So this will help you in your design. Um, so what you want to do is make the cheapest bridge possible that the truck can go across without failure. Be sure to save your work.